Hello everyone, so I just completely rearranged my room. So let's take a little tour. So we're going to start the studio tour with one of the oldest things in the studio, the Roland Juno DS. And I've had this keyboard for about six years almost, and it's really great. I've made a ton of videos on it, so if you want to see those, I've made some reviews and some tutorials, you can go check those out. And it's a really great keyboard, I really like it, and it's really fun to just fiddle around with or to make actual music with. So, this is my microphone. I got it last summer. It's the Bluebird by Blue. It's super, super nice. Actually, what it's been most useful for is I've been taking virtual piano lessons, and so I set it up at the piano. My piano teacher can hear my piano really well, which my previous microphone had been a pretty cheap Amazon microphone, which just distorted when I recorded the piano. So that has already paid for itself. Uh, and it sounds great with pretty much everything. I can record guitar, I can record my voice. So almost everything you hear, except for this video, comes through the Bluebird. Behind uh, my guitar, I have this little like nightstand thing, I guess. And inside it, there's a drum machine. Oh, there we go. There's a drum machine and there's a kalimba. And both of them I have used on one of my latest songs, which should be released soon and I'm super excited about that. And then there's a MIDI keyboard and just some various instructions back there, but I never really use those. And then on top, we have a Korg Electribe, and my grandma had this and gave it to me, and I haven't really done much with it as it's super complicated and it's hard to figure out, but it's fun if I have a little bit of extra time to try and make something on it and to just fiddle around with. Below the Electribe, is a brand new instrument for my studio. This is a melodica, and I got it for Christmas, so about a week or two ago, and it's super fun. I haven't created any songs with it yet, but I've been improvising over a lot of them. I really enjoy playing it, and hopefully you'll be hearing some stuff with it, maybe some shorts uh, in the near future. So now we come to the main part of my studio, where I sit and spend most of my time, and first we'll look at my kind of heart of the studio and it is my interface. It's a PreSonus AudioBox 44 VSL and for many many years I was using the Roland Juno DS because it has a USB port on the back that can connect to my computer and I can run MIDI and I can record directly in. So actually the Juno was my interface for a while but recently I upgraded and I've kind of run out of channels as you can see so it's too bad I didn't get with one with more channels but it has been really nice and definitely an upgrade from just using my keyboard as an audio interface. So now we look at my studio monitors and these are PreSonus R80s and I have really liked them. They're my first pair of studio monitors. Uh, I have to treat my room now because for a while I was mixing on my headphones which we'll go over in a minute and as you can hear, my room does not sound very good, but they're really nice monitors. I've been really happy with them. I need to get some stands for them eventually, but I have a few things that I'm thinking of purchasing before I get the stands. And books are working just fine, and they're actually piano books, so if I ever need piano books, I can take them out from under, but they're really, really nice. I've only had them for a little while, so I'm still getting used to them. So these are my headphones, they're Sennheiser HD280 Pros, I really like them, I've had them for many many years, so many years, that I wore out the pads, so these are the original uh, ear pads, and as you can see, I wore straight through them, just through pretty much using them for multiple hours almost every day, for a couple of years, and so they've been really nice, and I hope to keep using them, and pretty much all the music that you hear on my channel has been made through them. So they have a big part of my musical history. So this is my laptop. I use it for pretty much everything, Zoom calls, school, and making music. And it's getting a little bit slow for the huge music projects that I'm working on, but it still trundles along after six years. And this is my monitor, which I got about two years ago. It has been really great. And just having another screen to see things on is really nice both for making music and for school so I would highly recommend getting a second monitor if you can 
Another thing that I've had for many, many years is this guitar. Guitar was the first instrument that I played and I took lessons for five years, except then I didn't play it for like four years. So I've gotten it back out and I started playing it recently and I'm a lot worse than what I was, but hopefully I can get a little bit better through some practice and I've been incorporating it into a lot of the music that I've been making. And so that's been super fun. And yeah, so that's my music studio. It's taken me very many years to get all this stuff and I'm obviously still not finished. Uh, but this is what I love to do. I spend pretty much all my money on it. So you're seeing a lot of work uh, in one single thing. One really cool thing is I was going through my desk recently and I found a drawing from I think 2013 or 2014 and it was what I imagined my room and what I wanted to turn my room into and it looked exactly like this except it was on that wall. <laughs> um, but it looked exactly like this and it's really cool that after six years my ideas still haven't changed of what I want to turn my room into and I still have the same passions that I did back then. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I wasn't going to publish this, but if I do end up publishing this, hi, this is just kind of a way to document what musical gear I have at the moment as it's starting to change and shift. So hopefully you like this video and it inspires you a little bit and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.